Hey guys, so give me a little update on home projects. I haven't posted anything in a while and I figured I would um, kind of give you an update on my home, on what I'm doing. Um, I asked a lot of family and friends. Um, I didn't do construction growing up or anything like that, um, but I feel like I'm pretty handy. So this is what I'm doing so far. So this is what we got going on here. What you'll notice is here's a wall and you're like, okay, what am I looking at? Well, what's going on in my ceiling here is to my, to our right here is a load bearing wall and to add two feet to our kitchen and our living room and dining room, we wanted to move this over um, to give two feet back to this space that's not utilized. So right here there's a door on the other side and so it just happened to work out really well um, for my home specifically that I was able to move this load bearing wall over most people when they say moving load bearing wall they usually keep the load bearing area in the same place and either remove like a header here or remove this wall and put a really long LVL beam across the top um, but this wall juts out two feet here and so I'm gonna move it back um, so it's already in and you can clearly see my new load-bearing post that the LVL beam resides on in my ceiling um, and here we got th this post here will be removed um, there are three studs here so there's this one there was a spacer which I end up filling in the spacer to help with support and then there's another there's another um, another post here and this goes all the way down into my basement so let me show you kind of what I did in the basement so now that we're in the basement, uh, right here is the wall where you saw the four studs. Weight's being transferred down here. Uh, there's also two floor joists running up in through here that the it'll carry down. Also between the two, there's also a space between. And I filled that in to also help carry the load. Okay, this is where the load bearing post is coming down. You'll notice like, oh, that's not enough. But on the other side, let me show you what I've done. So here's the other side of that wall here. Sorry, it's a little loud in my basement. Um, I built this in. I added these extra studs, nailed them in together. They're, you know, hammered in nice and tight to carry that load all the way through down to the base. Um, and there's also a floor joist sitting right there that will also help carry the load. Okay, the fun part, this is my attic now. So this is the new load bearing section, or actually my LVL beam that I've inserted. Uh, the fun part was adding a whole bunch of new ceiling joists that needed to be put in. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a two story, which is, makes it also really nice. Um, so just joisted all these on both sides to this new LVL beam that carries all the new weight for my walls um, and drywall is being carried by those ceiling joists but to look at this image here you can clearly see some red tape and that is just sheeting tape that I have used to cover up the cracks and so I just want to finish off saying thanks for watching my video and if you like what you saw please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and if you have any comments or anything like that just please let me know and I'll try to get back to you